there's a guy that came to you and said, you know what, um, I'm starting up a new business and I kind of, uh, you know, should I start up a new kind of presence online or should I be myself online? Um, what's your advice for when people are trying to extend their workplace online and, and they're debating how corporate should I be, how strict should I be? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The kind of number one rule is to just be natural and be yourself. And, and I think a lot of people, I mean, it's always good to register your company name or whatever on, on Twitter, etc. So no one else can jump onto that. But essentially, if, if you can just kind of keep it as one persona, that's what I would recommend to people. Uh, I think otherwise you can get very bogged down in kind of how do I tweet as, you know, this company and how do I tweet as myself and how do I tweet as a CEO and how do I tweet as a friend and my advice is to kind of try and just have one constant persona which is as transparent as possible and as natural as possible. Is there, is there any bad examples that you can think of or someone that just uh, just a company that botched it? Uh, well without naming any specific names okay. I, I think a, a really good example uh, that, that probably a lot of people may have heard of is the fake Steve Jobs so, which is which uh, is a, a Twitter profile, and of course, it's not Steve Jobs of Apple, but it is a kind of egomaniac running wild, tweeting all sorts of ridiculous and arrogant statements uh, as if they maybe were Steve Jobs, but of course they aren't. So, th so that's a kind of that's a kind of caricature, but I, th I think that's maybe what businesses are scared of when they think of their CEO tweeting. But I would also say, if you're not a natural Twitter or blogger as a CEO, then then you know don't worry, get, get someone in your company who is, and and right. you know maybe get them to tweet as head of marketing or whatever. Rather, than, I mean Scott, Scott Monty, for example, at Ford is a is a really great example. I mean he's not the CEO of Ford Motor Company, he's mm -hmm. the head of social media, but but he uh, he does that job very well. So you, I guess you can't really fake it. You can't be someone and oh you know I'm a great blogger when you're not. When you you might be a good CEO, but you just don't know how to type. Is, uh, is there anyone, anyone you've worked with or when you're researching for your book that you found really did um, get a whole lot more value when they actually started um, being natural online? Well, it's interesting. I, the people I spoke to for the book, they were all kind of naturals to start with. Mm. Um, one interesting case was... was uh, was the BBC um, Sacred Facts, a guy called Richard Sambrook. He was like one of the first people at the BBC to have, or rather the first person at the BBC to have an internal blog that then became public. Mm -hmm. and, and he's a journalist, so, so he, he said he was surprised at how difficult he found it to, although he worked as a writer, he found it very difficult to find a voice as a, as a blogger. Right. And he was actually very scared about saying the wrong thing and, and all of that. And he says it took him quite a while to kind of find his voice. But once he mm. did that, it was, it, he found it was a very successful tool. And it is, I guess, um, I think that's a trend, or not a trend, it's really the future is the, um, who you are and then who you are as work is just, it's getting closer and closer together. Yeah. Um, and I guess, would that be... Certainly for, for us, maybe. Yeah? I, I what think, do you mean? Well, I, I think they're, they're... I know I say, yes, be natural, try to be one mm. persona. But I, I think once you reach a certain level, it, it, it definitely is difficult because people expect you to behave in a certain way and they, and they hang more on what you say. So, so I think if you're, if you're relatively young or if you're, if you're a sort of freelance consultant, mm -hmm. it you're pretty much, you know, people aren't really going to hang on your every word quite so much. But if you are you know, CEO of Apple or, or Microsoft or whatever, mm. the, you know, as, as you and I know, the media is full of people sort of saying something ridiculous. And right. we say ridiculous things every day. But luckily, <laughs> people no, don't report what that. we say because they don't care. So, so, you know, that there's always that issue, I think. You know, so, for example, if you look at Ford... Yeah, maybe it makes sense that Scott, Mont Scott Monty is the kind of spokesman online in many ways rather mm -hmm. than the actual CEO. Fair enough. So I guess, yeah, I, I guess it would definitely be a bad thing if you're a jerk. If you are a jerk, you might not want to spread that around online. Exactly. And we can all be jerks sometimes. So, so Fair enough. Know. Thank you. Yeah. But, but, but definitely be relaxed about, about that mm. as well. It, it, it's, uh, I think most things that are trivial, um, like you saying something stupid, will blow over very quickly. So you just have to kind of develop a, a thick skin and not worry about it too much, I think. Right.
Fantastic. Thanks for the tips. Okay, you're yeah. welcome.